Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We are in Vigo, Spain. What's in Vigo, Spain? Apparently a church because we can hear the bells now. Yes. Don't know if you can hear that. Other than that, we have no idea. We should really do more research on where we go. But, it's really pretty though. But we're gonna go in and take a walk around for a little bit and see what they have and show it to you. So let's go. All right, this is, they got a port terminal building. And they had us coming out of deck one today. Usually we come out of deck A, which is just below deck one. But today we're out of deck one. Posing with the statue, how cute. Looks like they have a mall right where the terminal is. Place to eat, some shops. Yeah, you can never get enough shops. Nice little harbor here. It's really nice walking out of the ship, right literally through a building and out into the town. There's no huge port to drive through, a bunch of cargo containers and cargo ships. So when we pulled into this port and we saw that it was right here, gosh, that just makes such a huge difference. What do you think? Yeah, it makes a really good impression on the city when you don't have to go through cargo containers and ugly buildings. You come out and you just, boom, the city's right here. Yeah. Beautiful. I love this port already. Yeah, it's really nice. So far, it's, I'm hearing the birds, there's all the boats right here in the harbor and the sun's just come up over the hills. It's really pretty. I like. Yeah, that's an interesting statue. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Hmm. But we're gonna be heading right up that alley right there up to that old church right back there. All right, they have bus maps. So you can just jump on a bus and see certain parts of the city. They're all color coded. We're just gonna walk. Places to eat in the old, this is considered the old quarter. This is a hilly little town. There's stairs to go up everywhere. Oh, I hear the church. I hear the church bells are ringing. Ah. Santa Maria. It's about 9.15 in the morning, so a lot of things are still closed. I imagine it'll open up later on, but we're supposed to get rain later on, and the last thing we want to do is get caught out in the rain, so we're just gonna kind of see the city center, so to speak, and then get back on the ship before it starts coming down. It's thunder and lightning, they said. We shall see. Nice little places to sit down if you're tired. Yeah. Looks like they're putting in a brand new road. This looks like a major street. As you can see, it kind of goes down into the city down there. But what they've done is really nice so far. 
This is sweet. Really cool how that street feeds off and heads off that way. Looks like a good walking street, many shops. Plaza. Now that's one way to get up the hill. Or the hard way. There's a lot of construction around here. But this is kind of main, this is like a town square, I think. Big statue up here, beautiful building up here, and then also this one's beautiful. And this main walking road that we're gonna walk down over here. But it looks it looks really nice, but wasn't for them repaving or remaking this entire street, I'm sure this would be absolutely gorgeous. Yep. And probably very, very quiet this early in the morning. Yeah. But it'll be nice for the locals to have their street redone, I'm sure. <laughs> Really cool light post. It looks like a heads up that street right there. It's got some interesting architecture. We've reached the end of the nice walking street, so I think we're going to head back down toward the harbor. walking too far today. We're just kind of making like a big loop. Um, we're both still a little under the weather, but we were feeling a little cramped in our cabin the last couple of ports. And we thought a little bit of fresh air and a stroll would do us good. So we're glad we came out, but we're not gonna overdo it. So just a little bit of outdoor time and sunshine. They really do have some cool architecture. Well, all are stone buildings. They just have different designs on them. We're coming down this little teeny tiny street here. And this little corner, a Japanese maple. I love these, they're so pretty. I wanted to grow one when we had our, our home, but it was just a little on the warm side. It needed to be a little, less hot all the time. What do you want to do? I don't know. I said this will probably take us back to that church. Probably. Do you so want to go back to the church or you want to go down to the water? It doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to go down to the water. So if you want well, to we walk along the water. Okay. We, we saw, we saw, oh yeah. <laughs> Interesting steps on angles. Place to eat. Wow, it's kind of pricey. I guess we'll bypass that since our food on the ship is free. No, we paid for it. Well, we paid for it, but we don't have to pay for it again. Well, I have to apologize for not giving this city its due. It's a really pretty city. We're just happy to be out and not coughing every 10 steps because we've had a cold the last few days. We missed Lisbon and Porto, but 
we're going back through there in September, so we don't feel as bad. We figure we can catch it on the flip side. But Vigo, this is our one stop in Vigo, so we, we felt we needed to get out and, and see it. And unfortunately, this is about as much as we can muster for this, this city. It deserves more, though. We just wanted some fresh air, too. Yeah. We didn't want to spread germs on the ship. We wanted to be outdoors, so. Yeah. All right, they have a Vigo tour bus, but it's not a hop on hop off bus per se. So, or the normal hop on hop off buses that you would normally see. It's bread, if you want to consider that, but. We're back down by the harbor. We found our way back to the Looking harbor big. area. And there's this beautiful covered area over here. It's the boats, lots of green space, really pretty. And Kevin spotted a dome over here. Looks like a, a large Fabergé egg. Yeah, it has kind of a Fabergé egg look. It's got that, yeah. I don't know what that is, some kind of a like a rock. Statue. Or maybe something on the other side. Maybe yep. just the backing. Could there are be. other statues along the park. So. Maybe this is some kind of a memorial park. Maybe if we walk along the other side and actually see the parts with the writing on it, we'll know what it is. <coughs> what a great idea. <coughs> mm, that sounds good. Didn't that Yummy. sound Somewhere. Yep, he's pointing over there. He's, he's, I don't know, he, but he's just pointing over there, so we'll just go over that way. We'll just follow where he's pointing, which is over there. Uh, two points of interest is you can see that there's a town on the other side of the bay. There are ferries that go back and forth. You can kind of see one working its way across right there straight in front, I'll circle it. And it crosses, we've seen it cross a few times from this side to the other side and back. Also, if you ever wanted to cruise full time or basically buy a house, not a house, or buy a room on a ship that just cruises the world, yeah, that's one of them right there, the World Navigator. Not very big, probably about yeah, 30,000 tons, 40,000 tons max. But all it does is circle the globe and you just buy a buy a room and you pay monthly dues and that's your home. I don't know if I could do that though. It's a long time to be on the water. Right off in the distance looks like there's some kind of cathedral there on top of the mountain. As we pan back, we are right next to the harbor where all the boats are. Right on the water. So you can kind of get an idea of the the bay. And we did find a ferry. There's a ferry boat right there that'll take you across to the other side. People are lined up to get on. People just got off this one that just came in. A little boat launch area. Nice. Another place to walk along the Harbor. Alright, that's our quick look at Vigo, Spain. We would have liked to see more, but under our current conditions, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. For those looking for a more thorough review of Vigo, I'm sorry this didn't deliver it. <laughs> it's just, yeah, we're just trying to get out and get a little fresh air. 
Well, we just wanted to share the little bit that we, we thought we might get, and that's it. I mean, yeah. there's not much to it, but... Yeah. It's a beautiful little city, though. It is. Um, it's worth a look if you're in the area. Just come and check it out. And... But... But that's it for us at this port. We're going to head back on the boat and relax and cough some more. Because <laughs> that's what we're doing really good these days. <laughs> but until then, bye. Bye. Ah, uh, look, dear. Marco. Polo. <laughs> but look at the pretty tile right there. Of course, somebody's looking out of their window now that we're looking at it. It's like... <laughs> Let's see if I could do that in my good Barry White voice. La Chata. No, not very good. La Chata. It's a bunt. Quiet down over there. Jeez. Well, I guess he was offended. Here. I guess. I don't know. And it has more of a dragony kind of look to me, like his long body with the wings and the head. Ah. Mm. Looks like clouds to me. We're just sitting in the park. Yeah. Watching the clouds go by. Yeah. People watching. Yeah. Boat watching. We should probably pull it away from our faces because it makes our face look a lot fatter. Like my a lot fatter. Is this one. Is that better? Yeah. Mmm.